Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back. So today we have a couple new products. So let's start off with HJLRC. Now, HJLRC sent me a couple things. They contacted me about their new F4 wing. So they made a wing flight controller. Here's this one. I just opened it. So let's take a look at it. It's kind of the same aspect as the Maytag. It looks pretty good. I don't know its current price, but they do provide you with quite a lot of things here, as you can tell. This is a really nice addition that they give you all of these extra little bundles and uh, accessories here. So I really like that. Well, we're going to be seeing this in a later video up close because I do have another wing build on the way, which we'll use this guy on. So let's put this to the side. They've also sent me, well, actually, I requested when they contacted me. They're 6S uh, motors for 3-inch quadcopters. The HGLRC 1408-2400KV, which are going on this build here, which I broke. But first, I need to cut a new arm for it. This is a custom-made uh, floss remix of a remix. So, yeah, I'm going to have to cut some arms for that. I'm going to test it. So, I got five of these in, which we'll be testing because I want to see if it's really viable like a 6s on 3 inch with the current hardware that is available in the market now run cam also contacted me and this is their new run cam racer nano now this is run cam's answer to the cadex eos i think that's found on all these little micros so people can pick some of these up now they are pretty expensive around 34 dollars i will be testing its latency and i will put it on my favorite little uh, non-hd whoop which is the trash can here. I'll replace the current Cadex. First, I'll get some nice footage and then I'll replace it with this camera and see how this camera does compare to that one. I'm pretty sure it's going to do pretty good. And uh, when I take this one off, then I'll, we'll do some kind of a, a, a latency comparison. It's really tiny. I mean, look at this, guys. It is unbelievably tiny. Super, super tiny. So yeah, sorry about that. It doesn't have voltage sensing. So keep that in mind. It's just uh, it's for the OSD. So sorry about that. Let's put this to the side. We're going to come back later to this with possibly first a latency test. Let's move this. Rush uh, FPV or F yeah, Rush contacted me and they said, would you like to test our VTX? And I said, sure, let's go ahead and test it. So they sent me two of them. Uh, which will probably connect to the emergent RC meter now again I don't know how well calibrated it is, but if I do all my tests based on that one Then we should have some kind of a consistent result um, I will take this out on a quad or a wing to test it out. It's really nice very well protected I mean, that's the first thing you get right out of this when you touch it in your hand that the risk of it You know breaking something is very unlikely and the shielding is really great They've added shielding all around it, so that kind of help. That does help with some interference issues that could arise. And you have our buttons popping out here, very well protected because these buttons are very, very fragile. MMCX, and we have our slots here. We're gonna come back for this in a later video. the The packaging is really nice. I mean, the presentation here is is really awesome. Um, I don't know how much these go for, but yeah, we'll test this guy out. Hopefully, it's good. Seems to be pretty heavy, but I think it's meant towards uh, more freestyle builds, I think. So T-Motor watched my video when I did the uh, Windows Banggood shopping. And I remember I said they added four LEDs. I was completely wrong and I misunderstood that picture. And um, they were not four LEDs. They only put one LED and those were FETs. They were just talking about the FETs here. Now they are using uh, two N-channel MOSFETs, which is something you want to see. For example, the Mamba 4-in-1 ESC, uh, the 30 by 30. They're using one PNP, one NPN. If you use two NPN, it's much more efficient theoretically, and it is better overall. And that's what they're doing here. I'm still debating on removing the heatsink and taking a look inside on the review, but let me know down in the comment section. This will not be tested on a 4S noise testing. This will only be tested on 6S. So yeah, uh, if you guys wanna see 4S, then that's a different story, but I think I'm gonna start doing everything on a 6S. So if it's rated for 6S, that's the test it's gonna get. So yeah, we're gonna see this here. And they do provide you a lot of things. The packaging looks absolutely great also. Uh, but I mean, you're paying a ton of money here for this product. And I do hope, I do expect to see just about it. We got 12 gauge wire, very long XT60 uh, connector here. We have our cables that are pre-made too. I mean, this is, this is really nice. Okay, this one's not, this one just comes to like a soldering endpoint. But this one here is really cool. They have them prepared for you on that side of this connector and they have the connector heads there. So whatever type of flight controller, you can just stick those in and connect it. This is really nice and very well thought thought through. However, I do wish uh, a T-Motor, if you are watching this, how many connectors do they give us? 
They give you like four connectors in there. That should do just about everybody. Also, Tyler recommended you add the low ESR capacitor, and it is a 35 volt, 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor. So that's really great. Um, so they give you quite a lot of things, and you know that's really good that they do because of its price is pretty, pretty high. It's a pre it's a premium product too. So. Um, you know, that, that's how T-Motor plays most of its products as a premium product and they do have great customer service and support. Now, I wish they've added one extra thing. Now, this is just me being picky. I really like those um, uh, PCB boards that are, you, you know, you solder your motors to in the ESC to and you just put them on the frame. Uh, those are really nice. They did give those with the T-Motor F45 amps and I wish they gave them in this one too, but they didn't here. Something off topic, which is the Latte Panda. Now you'll be like, what the hell is this? Well, this is provided by DF Robot for one of my projects, which is um, TensorFlow AI. So this is a Windows 10 PC with a built-in Arduino. And uh, it's, it's really cool. It has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. It's much more powerful than a Raspberry Pi. And um, it has four gigs of RAM, 64 gig of SSD memory. And it's just an overall beast. I mean, can you see that? Uh, they've also released a newer version right now, but this one is, is, is really great. So I really want to test this out. It has HDMI, SD card expansion, an Arduino in here as well. It, it just has quite a lot of things going on for it. And it can take all types of inputs. So we have a video upcoming on this later on. You also do have Ethernet. It's just, uh, it just has everything. So this is going to be a really great way to, for example, uh, put this on one of my RC cars and have the AI control the car through the inputs that are coming through the Arduino that's built in. So it's a really nice interfacing engine instead of uh, figuring out some kind of a Wi-Fi solution from the Arduino down to this PC that can cause latency and, and uh, you can lose connection. So this is a really nice uh, board and you can do quite a lot of things with it like a home center and all these things but my you know, my, my usual use case is, 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 is not really, I, don't, I could care less about a media center, um, but it's more of a productive project to try to implement in the real world. And um, that's what I've been working on. So yeah, expect to see this very soon on channel. Huge shout out to DF Robot. Check, I'll have their link down below. Go ahead and check them out. They are not affiliated in any sort of way, but you can go ahead and check them out because they were really awesome to sponsor this. I also got the Maytex stand. I actually got this one from Banggood. I didn't buy this because I wanted to test it. Um, the quality looks nice. Okay, that's one word. Uh, the overall functionality isn't precise. That's another word. And uh, I'll have a full in-depth review of this coming up. Um, the mechanism at which it uh, senses the amount of uh, thrust it has is through this right here. So, you know, you would apply the force and then it'll bend the load cell or you can put the force that way and it'll go there. And um, we have this here. There's no SD card. It's just a pretty basic one. Um, there is also no controls in it. So you're going to have to have some sort of a servo tester or build something to control the, uh, the ESC with or give it the PWM input. So this is just for just to give you thrust, uh, the amperage used, and that's about it and nothing else. Um, it won't do anything else. So it's a pretty basic one. It's a really nicely built basic one, which can be heavily modified if you have the know-how to do it. It does have really great mounting points as well, pretty large. I wish, no, actually, I, th I really think that they might be slightly larger here. The plate here, you can easily modify this to, I don't think you'll be able to run micros on this one anytime soon, but you can if you 3D print a mount that goes from here to here, then you'll be able to do some kind of a micro stand. So it's, it's, it's really nice that it's modular. It's not made out of one piece. So you can take parts off and then you know, remodify it to do something else. However, when you do test on this, you're going to need longer screws than you usually have because this is a pretty thick piece of aluminum right here. This is not plastic. It's all aluminum. I don't see any plastic piece on this except on the linear rails right here. Very smooth, by the way. Very, very smooth. Um, it's not very it's not perfectly centered either. So that's something you might want to take note of here But I think you just uh, move that thing down there So yeah, there's three of these holding them into place. So overall, it's really nice You can repurpose this to do quite a lot of other things also I might modify it, but uh, we'll take the we'll take a closer look at this in a later video and well That's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video If you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and everything here will be linked down below
and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.